Hello everyone. In the previous videos we installed Dota Commander and Notepad++. And now let's see how to use them efficiently for development, for writing simple programs. Ok, here I collected some use cases, so let's see them one by one. Create a new Python project called Hello and write a program called Hello.py that simply prints Hello. Let's do it with Total Commander and Notepad++. Ok, so start Total Commander and then let's create a project folder. Now the course that we are doing is called Programming 1. So I suggest that you create a folder called Programming 1 with F7. We can create a folder Programming 1. OK. Enter. And here we will collect our projects. This is the first week, so maybe we can create a subfolder called week01. Enter. And here we need to create a project folder called hello. So F7 again, hello, and enter. So this is the project folder, and in this we want to create a file called hello.py. How can we create a new file? By pressing Shift F4. Now specify the name of the file, the name of the new file, it's hello.py. And it will be opened automatically by Notepad. OK, let's print just hello. Save it, Ctrl S. And then now we can close it. The file is there. There is a file called hello.py.bug. It's a backup file. But if I refresh the panel, I think it will disappear. So press Ctrl R. No, it's, it's still there. OK, then let's delete it. <laughs> Notepad++ left it there. Move the selector on it. F8. Yes. Delete it. OK. Now let's verify that uh, its content is correct. Move the selector on it. Press F3. Yes. It's print hello. Good. Let's close it. And now let's execute the program in the command line. So in this folder we want to open uh, a terminal but if you open the terminal here then you can see that we are in this folder we are not in the project folder so one way is that you navigate to the project folder by using the command cd cd programming1 ok we are there then cd week01 with there we can check the content uh, the subfolder is called hello ok we are there hello.py is there with cls you can clear the screen hello.py is there, type hello.py, just type the name of this Python program, press enter, and it will be executed, and hello is printed on the screen. But the problem here is that when you open this terminal, open it, then by default you are put in a different folder. So, I suggest the following. Open CMD from Total Commander. And if you type CMD enter, then the good thing is 
that uh, you will be put in the same folder. As you can see, we are in this folder where we executed the command cmd. You do not need to use the command cd change directory. You are immediately there and then you can execute this program. Done. If I move to the right side and enter, for instance, utils and no, let's enter work and if I execute cmd here then I am put in this folder work. So that's a big advantage of uh, using Total Commander. Fine. OK, I move back to the root folder of the C drive. OK, we could execute it. Now, let's see another example. Find and open the previous project and modify the program so that it prints Hello World. OK, first we need to navigate to the project folder. We know that it is in Programming 1, in Week 01, and in hello. By pressing enter we can enter in a folder. OK, we are in the project folder. Move the selector on the file, press F4 for editing and modify it to print hello world. Save it. We can close it for now. Uh, the bug file is created there, the backup file. OK, let's delete it. I think uh, in Notepad++ somewhere we can specify where to store these backup files. Uh, I will look after it. OK, and now we want to execute it. We want to see Hello World on the screen. So here, start CMD. We start it from Total Commander because it will put us in the project folder. Hello.py is there. Let's execute it. Oh, and you do not need to type the complete name of the file. You can just... It's enough to type just the beginning of the name of the file and then you can press Tab. And then it will complete it for you. Enter. OK, ex executed. You can see the output. Excellent. We can close it. Now, create a new project called Word and copy the previous hello.py here and then rename it to word.py. So, let's create a new project called Word. I move back to the root folder. Then enter programming 1, enter week 01. Hello is a project and here by pressing F7 I create a new folder called Word. It will be another project. Enter. OK. Now from, uh, from the folder Hello I want to copy Hello.py here. So we need a copy operation. On the right side, I want to see the same folder that I see on the left side. So, I'm on the left side, press Alt F2 and choose C. Then I get to the same folder. I go back to the parent and enter Hello. And this is the file that I want to copy from here to the left side to this folder Word. OK, the selector is there, press F5 and enter. Now it is copied there. And now I want to rename it. Press F6. I show you two different ways. The first is press F, press F6 and type in the new name word.py. OK, it is renamed. This is one way. Now I delete it and I copy it again. 
and I show you another way how to rename a file I forgot to mention it in the previous video click on it yeah so click on it and uh, it will this, this will appear so this is an edit mode and here you can rename it mm. so you need to be careful how to click it doesn't always uh, it's not always successful <laughs> uh, okay it wasn't successful click again and now it is opened in in this edit mode and then you can type word.py well if it doesn't work then f6 use f6 that that always works fine now on the left side I'm in the folder word on the right side I'm still in hello so on the right side I also want to see the same folder word how can I do that alt f2 c and now is the same folder okay rename it to word.py and edit it so that it prints word okay f4 let's edit it print just word save it control s close it the backup we delete the backup file good launch cmd the terminal the file is called word.py type in its name enter and it's executed fine we can close it okay find the project word and execute it in the command line okay it's similar to a previous exercise so let's find it it, it's in programming one week zero one word enter okay start CMD start typing in its name press tab it will be completed enter and it's nicely executed good and now I want to show you how to use notepad plus plus and CMT, CMD efficiently so you have a project you want to edit it and you want to execute it immediately and if you are not satisfied with the result you want to continue editing it okay let's see I open it so first I show you the wrong way open it uh, modify it for instance pi save it close it this is what I see from the students so this is the wrong way close it okay start CMD execute it pi not good okay go back open it again pi 3 save it close it execute again pi 3 okay it's good uh, so the problem here is that I opened the editor I edited the file and then I closed it so this is very slow so don't do that do the following open the file and resize the window move it for instance to the left side okay and then here in the project folder open CMD and move it to the right side and then on the left side I edit it and on the right side I can execute it immediately without closing the editor so for instance instead of Py3 I want to see Python save it on the right side execute it Python okay better but I want to see Python 3 Python 3 save execute uh, here you can use the up arrow 
and then you can browse for instance I execute the command uh, date mm, no I do not want to modify but if you press the up key then you can browse among the previous commands and if you press down you can go back so I execute word once and if I want to execute it again if I want to execute it again press the up key and press enter good so you do not need to type word.py every time no you can also use the tab but the shortest way is to use the up key and then you can re-execute the previous command okay I want to see P in capital code I saved it execute it perfect this is what I wanted so this workflow is much better and much faster than opening and closing the editor all the time when you are ready then of course you can close the editor and you can close this uh, CMD window fine and I will uh, try to figure out how to <laughs> get rid of these uh, backup files there must be a solution now I will just delete it okay so this is the typical workflow uh, for uh, software development we need a text editor we need the Python interpreter we edit the source code we execute it from the second week we will use uh, Visual Studio code I think I will make a video for that also and uh, we will use Visual Studio code for a long time and maybe at the end of the semester we will also use PyCharm but I think uh, Visual Studio code is perfect uh, for us okay Thank you for your attention and bye.